In other news now, an exciting time in Lincoln as the high school girls and boys state basketball tournaments are back in full force. And for the first time in two years, fans are allowed back in at full capacity, providing a big boom for businesses. Channel 8's Macy Meyer joins us now with the story. Macy, they have to be excited. <laughs> Yeah, they certainly are, Rod. There's a certain buzz around town when state basketball's in town, and for local businesses, they definitely see a benefit. The roar of state basketball is back in Lincoln. 2022 marks the first year fans have been back at full capacity since COVID restrictions started in 2020. For businesses in the hay market, it was easy to see the impact of limited fans allowed at the tournament. It hit everyone really hard. <laughs> it's It was just kind of a sucky year all around, let's be honest, yeah. and that definitely did not help. Green said Ivana Cohn saw a dramatic drop in business once the pandemic hit, and it was noticeable not having a full arena of fans for the last two years. But as the tournament kicks off once again, hey, go, 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 business is booming. It's a lot more exciting, it's a lot more energetic and just vibrant, and we are just so happy that everything is getting kind of back to normal a little bit. This week is jam-packed with games, 92 to be exact, and 96 teams total headed to the capital city in hopes of claiming a state title. Although not all of the games are at PBA, it still brings in a steady stream of revenue. The buzz of families back in the ice cream shop also brings a sense of normalcy. I mean, I feel like it's everything's been a buzz because it's been so long since we've seen everyone. It's nice to like spend time with family and not have to worry. Green said they also see a big uptick in customers when college students move back in during the summer or when FFA rolls through town, but nothing quite like state basketball. It'll be good to have everybody here in Lincoln again. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Macy Meyer, for that report.